got a question about how do you play pentatonics fast on the guitar. Um, well, when you, when you start getting up to medium to fast tempos, the hard part about playing pentatonics is you're generally dealing with just two notes on a string. So you're doing a lot more cross-picking um, or a lot more jumping over, back and forth over the strings. So first let me play you the pattern so you can kind of hear what, what we're going to work on and then uh, I'll talk a little bit about, about breaking it down. So where the pattern comes from, it actually is from a live Randy Rhodes solo that, that he did uh, with, with Ozzy back in the 80s. And I remember hearing it as a kid and just the aggressiveness and the, and the attack that he had on the notes I thought sounded so cool. And other people that, that kind of do this, like Gary Moore and John Sykes, um, I think more recently people like Doug Aldrich from Whitesnake uh, does this type of thing a lot too. Um, and it, it's sort of a little different than, say, like people like Eric Johnson who are more uh, contemporary pentatonic players. They use, he uses a lot of pentatonics, but for some reason sometimes it doesn't always sound that way. Um, I think that Eric came a little bit later, so when I was learning about all this pentatonic stuff, I was more from the... Um, like John Sykes and Gary Moore school of playing pentatonics. Um, so the four note pattern that we're going to deal with is on a G and a D string. And it's just four notes and we're going to do a little variation to it. So uh, your G minor pentatonic. The third position is what we're going to use. Probably should have a good understanding of your basic pentatonic positions before you try uh, doing some of this. Um, Lots of information on the web uh, if you need your pentatonic fingerings, but there are five shapes and they all have two notes on a string. So if you're comfortable starting with a downstroke, you're going to just go down up for this entire sequence. Uh, some people hold the pick a little differently and they might feel a little more comfortable starting with an upstroke. And I know John McLaughlin, a lot of times when he's crossing uh, strings with pentatonics, he starts with an upstroke. Um, and some of the things I've learned, I, I tend to do that as well. Not, not with this, like I'm going to start with the down, but just want you to know you can start with a down or an up, but whatever you just choose to do, just keep your hand in an alternate uh, motion. So down, up, or up, down, up, down, depending on what's comfortable. So here's the down stroke. Ex exactly the same thing on both strings. C to B flat, G to F. And you're just cycling. So uh, I'm going to turn the volume off on my guitar, and what you really want to do is get good conviction out of your right hand good sounding solid attacks on each note. So hopefully you can hear that, hopefully it's translating. Um, and uh, it'll allow you to, to be able to play really any type of guitar and, and what I mean by that is that you don't want a guitar to control the way that you play. A lot of people say, oh, I have to have my guitar and I have to have my action a certain way. And I, I guess if you're dealing with hammering and pulling, that, that might be the case. But uh, you want to just be comfortable in your alternate picking so that no matter if the strings are heavy, if you have high action, you can still get through a gig. Again, so you can just hear what that sounds like. Uh, let me put the uh, volume back on. Now the way Randy does it is that he moves up chromatically on the guitar, so it's something like this. And what he'll do is he starts to add in the blues note in each pattern, and what that would be is if I have this, sometimes he adds in the C sharp or the D flat note. And what I'll do sometimes is mute it too to get some of that aggressiveness that Randy has. Now, one other thing that you can do is if you're comfortable doing that four pattern, you can just take your standard pentatonic. Let's do this one in D, and uh, that'll be up on your 10th fret. And just get comfortable playing four notes out of that pattern on, on the, the different sets of strings. So if I'm up on the 10th fret, I'm playing 13 to 10 which is F to D, and then the next string, C to A, 13 to 10 on the B string. So that'll sound like... When you're comfortable doing that, move it to the next set of strings. Move it to the next set of strings. Move it to the next set. And then the last set. Um, if you put it together... 
let's I'm doing just four notes on each set of strings. If you're comfortable doing four notes, you can even do six notes. So if I'm in the D minor pentatonic, I'm just counting down six notes. So if I count down these six notes, here we go. Uh, one more time. Or get across all six strings. So there are all different ways you can play pentatonics. And we're doing uh, basically descending patterns right now. So we're dealing with uh, going from higher to lower pitches, which is going upwards on the guitar. It's kind of backwards, but... So there were my sixes. Um, you could do fives, which is one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. more of an Eric Johnson thing to do. So just try them and see if it helps. So uh, good luck with everything. And real quickly, um, I'm just using an old Marshall Plexi uh, and this Les Paul. Uh, Marshall's pretty cranked in the other room, um, but just so uh, it's, it's a very unforgiving tone. You have to kind of fight it a little bit, but it's well worth it um, because it really allows you to hear uh, allows you to hear the way you, you really sound. There's not some extra gain stage or anything. It's just a, a standard plexi. Um, it's a man's, man's amp.